beautiful. Okay, well we're going to do some tech drawing the old-fashioned way and uh, the sort of equipment that you need are uh, a 45 degree set square over here. Uh, it's very helpful if the set square has some measurements written down one face of it and a, a 30 60 degree set square which is this larger one over here 30 degrees and 60 degrees with a right angle on the right hand side. Okay, before we use those let's line up our page. A page has to sit on the board, usually in the middle, and your T-square, which is this uh, square down the bottom over here, slides backwards and forwards, push it firmly up against the side of your drawing board, and just sit the edge of your paper on top of it just gently so that the edge is parallel with the, the blade of the T-square, and then you need a couple of small bits of tape, not real big bits, just something about that size, and put a bit of tape on each corner, just a little bit, because the less tape that you put on, less tape that you have to take off. You need two little bits like that on the corners. Just making sure that this edge is parallel with my T-square, the bottom edge of the paper, we're ready to start. Now you're going to need a pencil. I'm using a clutch pencil. You can use a, a standard pencil. And later on we'll use a compass as well to draw an isometric circle. So what I'm hoping to end up with is a, a square shape. looks a little bit like this. Um, I've had a go at rendering it with a a, um, a highlighting pen doesn't work all that well but you can see I've basically got an isometric square and I've done an isometric circle on top over here and a tidal block and a nice little margin around the edge so let's start okay first things first will be to construct a, a margin around the edge now we're going to do our margin 10 millimeters in from each face so I'm going to measure 10 millimeters in make a small mark I'm going to do the same on the top edge and the side edge. Now I don't have to do it more than one mark because we're going to use our set squares and T-square to rule all the way across. Now one of the things that you learn in um, tech drawing is do light lines. These lines are called construction lines. They're only very light. I'm not pressing very hard at all. And construction lines mean that we can create lines that guide us without having to go to a lot of trouble and we can go over edges and then when we've finished and we want to have those lines set them in firmly we go over the construction lines and firm them in so at the moment I'm just using construction lines you can see there and I'll do the same on this side over here making sure my T-square is pushed up against the side of my board so I've got a nice right angle like that now I can firm over them so I'll look very carefully and press a bit harder and I've got a nice firm line. Now I'm going to do the same with the top edge over here. So I've got my margin which will be just set up right. Now sometimes your, um, your clutch pencils, you may need to adjust the angle of the pencil so that your lines don't one off the course. But it doesn't take that long. All the way across here and then now this edge. Now to do verticals but just make sure that your T-square is pressed up against your board and then hold your hand over your edge by gripping onto the T-square as well as the, um, the, the set square. Line them up, which you can see I'm doing there. And then draw your nice straight line down. And there's the border completed. Now, to do our title block box, we're going to make it, um, we'll make it, 80 millimeters long. I'll make a little mark. We're going to make it 20 millimeters high. So I'm going to measure 20 millimeters up. Now I don't have to be that accurate where I'm putting these little dots, these little marking dots that I've just pushed here because my T-square and my tri-square are going to help me. Um, my T-square I should say and my set square are going to help me. So there's my, my very faint um, construction line. Here's my next construction line going right through the middle of my dots. Now we're going to measure 20 millimeters in from either side to complete our title block. 20 millimeters in, make a small dot. Another 20 millimeters in from the other side, make another small dot. Two lines, vertical. And I'm going to make these firm because I know exactly where I'm going to put them. Same on the other side. And then, halfway down, I'm going to measure down 10 millimeters from the top edge and create a little horizontal line across the top 
and then I'm going to firm in firm in these edges and my title block is finished so the title block is 80 millimeters long and it's 20 millimeters tall and I've just got to firm in this edge here and we're done now to put your name in the title block put your name in the top section there I'm going to do two little thin lines construction lines so I can line up my printing and very neatly I'm going to print my initials and then my surname inside those lines now it might seem a bit sort of strange and slow as you do this but if you do it neatly it looks good if you do it messily and smudge it it looks terrible now it put my class in here on the on the right hand side I'll do some more construction lines to guide me and I'm going to call it 8WG as my class okay done our title block now next section is we want to create an isometric drawing an isometric drawing you remember has 30 degree angles going back on either side from the viewing plane now, I want to start right in the middle of the page and the page is 270 millim 75 millimeters wide so if I measure 137 and a half and put one of my dots use my um, my 3060 set square or any other set square, you can use the 45 if you want, it's just a bit smaller. I'm going to make a nice faint line going up my page like this in the middle. That's going to be my reference halfway point. Now I'm going to measure up from there 30 millimeters. It just works out quite well that way. Make a little dot. From that point, that 30 millimeters point, is going to be the beginning of what we call a viewing plane. So our object, if it was put in space, will be sitting right on the corner of that little plane. Now, remember isometrics come back 35 degree, 30 degrees on either side of the viewing plane. So I'm going to do faint lines. I hope you can see those construction lines. I hope you can see